Why do people get upset when you comment something on their posts or you talk about them online? Like if they're already online posting stuff, showing the world their beliefs, why do they get upset when someone makes a counterpoint or even talks about them to the point that they block you? And actually, I got blocked and that's why I'm talking about. It. I'm a little upset because he blocked me. Why? Why did you block me, David J. Raul? I actually wanted to keep seeing your stuff on Instagram. Like, no, man. Like, why, why do you do that to me? Because I said that you were contradicting yourself in that video. Like, of course, of course, I, I get it. You know, I have 70 views and it's like a whopping amount of people lo looking at your contradictions. So it's insane. I, I get it. I'll be upset. But you, you said that online. It's not my fault. And then you go ahead and comment this. I was bigger than you as a natural. Dot, dot. And by the way, you need to put three dots. That's grammatically incorrect. Put in two dots. I understand the American education system is, but you know, man, like you're, you're, you have like 80,000 followers on TikTok and maybe a hundred on Instagram, but you should probably get some grammar testing check or whatever. Stay small. And, and the way that I am imagining that you said that you said this like this, stay small, like super mad because you put it in all caps. Yeah, he's saying that because I pretty much talk about him because I show him how he was incorrect, how he contradicted himself in that video. And um, he was very upset, uh, in my opinion, because he ended up blocking me on Instagram. He blocked me on Instagram, but not on TikTok. So, um, yeah, <laughs> what's up, David? <laughs> TikTok, <laughs> you can block me there. Anyways. In order for you, you as a natural, if you're still watching, you're probably natural and you enjoy natural bodybuilding and whatnot and like, you know, being healthy and whatnot, but all natural, not putting stuff like my boy here or his best friend Togi, right? I'm going to tell you what you have to do for your back. Today, I'm going to go over a back day that you should be doing. The back day that I've been doing for uh, maybe 12 months now, and it's very simple, very easy. In 45 minutes, you can get in and out. I'm going to go over a little bit of my pool day that got me from this to currently this right now in my bulk, which I, by the way, I need to stop bulking. I think um, I'm past that point of like 20% body fat. You let me know in the comments if you think I, I'm probably 20, 16. I think I'm more like 20% body fat, but um, I'll leave it up to the public. This is a video for education purposes and making sure that you don't stay small. So the first thing you got to do, start with some version of pull-ups or pull-downs in different grips. What do I mean by that? So you just have to do overhand, underhand, and maybe a little closer at some point. Three different types of grips per set. So you're going to do three sets. The first set with overhand uh, a little wider. The second set you're going to do shoulder width. And the last set you can do like that, like I'm showing right now, right? Like this. Yeah. What do you think about that, David? Anyways, so that's the first movement that you're going to do for the day uh, that you're doing pull. Then you got to do some sort of rows. I personally love the chest supporter rows. Those are the best ones for me. There are a bunch of studies that show you that the chest supporter rows are the most optimal for hypertrophy in the aspect of the rowing, the mid area. Now, you're going to follow that with lap pullovers. Lap pullovers are something that I really enjoy doing because it helps me with my muscle ups. I'm actually training for muscle ups. And a little side note, if you are trying to get a muscle up, lap pullovers will actually do the trick because you're training that particular part of the muscle that is required for you to perform the muscle up. The muscle ups are the movement that will help you to, I don't know, look cool in this calisthenics world. Now that movement can be very problematic if you do it wrong. So make sure your shoulders are all locked in so whenever you're doing them, you don't get uh, injured. And I usually end with a set of biceps, either hammer curls, or you can do this version of the bicep curls, or you can do them standing as well. But there's that. That's, that's all you need to do on a back day. You'll be in and out in 45 minutes, and you'll be able to not stay small like my friend, Mr. David Ray J. Rau said. And of course, this works for people that are taking performance enhancing supplements as well. It doesn't have to be for only naturals, but as a natural, that's, I can speak for my people. And if you do enjoy that kind of stuff, make sure to follow me. I'm actually going to start my cut and I'm going to probably show you what I'm eating on a day or whatever. Just make sure to leave me down in the comments if you want to know more about that. Now stay natural. See ya.